Hey everyone, Irix guy here. Now I got my uh, got my laptop, my Lenovo laptop. Now this Lenovo it did uh, it shipped with Windows 7. Uh, when I purchased this Lenovo laptop, uh, one of my uh, main decision makers was the fact that it was entitled to receive a discounted Windows 8 upgrade when the Windows 8 operating system came available. So Windows operating system came available in October. I installed it yesterday. I installed it on October the 26th of 2012. And I wanted to talk about the upgrade experience. Now, keep in mind, this Lenovo had Windows 7 on it previously. So I, I went through the process, received my email saying, oh, Windows 8 is out. You're entitled to discounted upgrade. Here's your code. So I got that email. And then I browsed to the link that was provided within the email. It was a straightforward process. Took my credit card number. Um, and then when I got to the last screen, it would say, do you have a promo code? Enter my promo code. Got a Windows 8 for my discounted price. Thank goodness. Because I would have uh, <laughs> I would have been deeply offended if I had uh, if I had installed Windows 8 at the full retail price. So that was nice. So to talk through the process, basically what happened, it downloaded the Windows 8 installation files to your computer. Now, I think there was an option where you could get it on a disk. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to download it. Now, I've got fiber in my house. So, my internet connection, my downstream and my upstream both is, is very fast. But even with that being the case, it did take a considerable amount of time. And by considerable amount of time, I mean about three, three and a half hours to download Windows 8 to the computer. Not that that's a problem. I understand probably a lot of other people in this country and around the world are probably also downloading and installing Windows 8. So the process was super simple. Uh, it did prompt me during the upgrade process that certain uh, core components, my McAfee antivirus, uh, that would not be compatible. So it warned me during, which I appreciated, it cautioned me during the install that, that I need to uh, remove that because it's not currently supported by Windows 8. So I did that. Everything else is straightforward. Um, when this comes up, <laughs> when, when Windows 8 finally goes through all of the uh, all of the installation steps, it's going to confuse the heck out of you. And the reason being is that you're going to be presented, unlike in the past, where you either had a login box or maybe you didn't even have a password and it just threw you right to your desktop. You know, you've got the Windows Start menu in the bottom left. You click Start and you launch all your applications. Common sense stuff. Well, when you fire up this Windows 8, you're presented, and actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and pop this open here so you can see it on this fine camera. Um, so you're presented with this, uh, with this screen, and it's just got all these boxes. So you don't have your, your original desktop like you had at one time. So the first thing I'm wondering is how do I find the start menu? That's a pretty dumb question, considering I've been using Windows, uh, Microsoft products rather, since the MS DOS days. I started out with Microsoft DOS, that's right, this black and white screen. So to get to the start menu, you position your mouse cursor towards the top right corner of the screen. Once you do that, you will then see a series of options appear. You've got search, share, start, devices, and settings. So you hit start, it'll take you to a uh, I guess you would call it, I think their uh, Microsoft buzzword for this is the Metro. So <laughs> it's got this Metro interface, but when you when you click start, you'll see what looks kind of like your old Windows desktop, except you don't truly have the start menu per se. But you do have search, so you're using search a lot more. If you want to open a command prompt, you do search, and then you type in CMD, Charlie, Mary, Delta. And it'll give you the so at least they still have a command prompt under all of this uh, this new interface. So, am I offended by the new look of Windows? Uh, the installation process was smooth, but when it popped up, I was like, I almost felt like you ever go out and buy one of those uh, one of those store bought computers. I mean, I built my own, but when, when you were dealing with uh, with Windows boxes. Dolls or Windows boxes, you know, you'd go out and get your parts and build your own. But if you bought that one just because it was on sale at like the local big box retailer and you bought it and you 
came home, booted up, and you had all the bloatware, you know, all the customized applications that are vendor, vendor specific for whomever built that computer. This kind of felt the same way, except I wasn't getting vendor trash. I was getting what I felt, in my mind, and this is my initial perception, is bloatware for that, that's running on top of the Windows operating system. So I'm looking at these little squares that pop up at the beginning is bloatware, and then when I go to my original, the old school Windows desktop, I look at that as kind of a dumbed down desktop, it's missing functionality. So I, you know, initial impressions here, I'm not super satisfied with this, and, and I think it's really, uh, although the installation process could not have been smoother, I, I don't know how people are going to perceive this, and it's, it's, it's almost too drastic of a uh, of a change for an op operating system that was slowly uh, losing its steam. And I, I, although I do feel that Windows 7, uh, for a Microsoft operating system, Windows 7 was, was somewhat solid. But hey, the upgrade process was simple. Uh, would I recommend upgrading from Windows 7 to this? I would not if unless, I would not upgrade unless you maybe have another computer that you can use if you don't like Windows 8 or maybe uh, maybe you don't use your computer for business purposes and you don't mind if certain things may or may not work. I haven't found anything that doesn't work yet except for the buyer scanner and I'm sure they'll have an update for Windows 8 but you, you may want to take all of this in consideration before you take that plunge and upgrade your computer because it is a drastic overhaul. And keep in mind, unlike uh, previous versions of Windows, where you could, uh, where you could do like a Windows Classic view, you know, get that normal looking, uh, the the old school uh, start menu and type layout and everything. There is no Windows Classic option for this. It, it is what it is. You're going to boot this thing up, and you're going to get those boxes. And if you want to access your desktop, <laughs> drag a mouse to the top right of the screen and then pull down and do uh, start. So it's, it's, it's different. Hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything too negative or too positive, but at this point in time, my, personally, I feel that the, the cons likely outweigh the, uh, the pros. And, and there's nothing to me that says, oh gosh, I gotta go out and get this uh, new operating system. And you know, this is very similar to what they're gonna have on that, uh, on that new <laughs> Microsoft tablet device. So, hey, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share this video with others. Uh, welcome your comments, questions, uh, whatever you may have. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash Guy. Y'all have a good day.